Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and today I will show you how to achieve this kind of glossy um, reflecting look on the um, font I've made in the Suncatcher teaser video and some of you asked me how I made it so I will show it. <laughs> um, I used the uh, lightning animations from the Suncatcher um, collection and I will show you how to make it in Photoshop. You can of course make it in Premiere Pro or After Effects too, since Photoshop ta uh, takes a bit longer to render the video and the Premiere Pro version <laughs> um, would be better for your computer if you have a slower one, but I will show you in Photoshop how to do it. So make a new file. If you want to make a story for Instagram, this is the perfect size for you. Let's call it some kitchen font create. And here we go. This is our base. And what I will do next is I will simply drag a background into my file, which is basically only a scanned in um, paper sheet cardboard or something like this so this is our background and the next thing we will do is to write a word or a sentence whatever you like so I will simply write some catcher over here I would recommend to use a font um, that's a bit bolder to make it more visible and that's it for this part. Now, the next thing we will do is we make a folder or a group, an empty group, maybe name an animation, whatever you like, and then simply drag and drop some of the animated parts uh, from the Suncatcher collection into your document. Here we go. Another one, not too many because when you put too many animated elements inside of Photoshop, it can be very slow. So with Command T or Edit Free Transform, we will now scale and adjust um, all the animated uh, light uh, reflections so they cover in some kind of this text. You can also uh, change the ratio um, of the animation so you don't need to uh, scale it proportionally just to get more out of the um, reflection because you won't see it afterwards. Here we go, so maybe like this. So the next step is to make a selection and mask our group out. So go to your text file or layer, press command on your keyboard and then click on it to make a selection. Then while the selection is still active, go to your group folder and click on the masking tool. Here we go. Now we have a mask and we will um, make the Suncatcher text folder invisible for now, but we will need it later. So now select all the animated parts and drag it into your group. As you can see, we only see the um, white parts of the mask. Now you can tweak it a bit around to make the font more visible. It really depends on you how much you want to put into this part. Here we go. So the next thing is we will make the Suncatcher text visible again, drag it over our or on top of our group and change the fill, not the opacity, the fill to zero. Then we will double click on the right corner of our text folder, uh, text layer and then choose the effect Bevel and Add Boss. You can tweak it around as you like, so change the depth and everything else, but I will leave it like this. Here we 
skin color. So since we changed the film to zero, we only see the effect on the top of the layer, not the layer itself. So here we go. The next step is um, to change the lightening effects, um, the blending modes. So we have a more kind of realistic reflection. Go to your, um, um, sorry, select the <laughs> light uh, layer and then change the blending mode to screen and maybe to lighten and some you can change to color if you like to but screen and lighten are more the kind of reflection ones so it's really up to you um, you can of course put more of the animated lightning effects into your document but, but as i said before um, this will always be a bit hard for Photoshop to render, so it would take a while. It really depends on how fast your computer is. So uh, take this. Uh, no, keep this in mind. Yes, this is what I wanted to say. So now we have this thing made. Um, since we want to make it a bit more um, realistic kind of looking, I mean you can render the video now at this point of course, but I will add some more effects on it. So I will copy my uh, background layer, drag it on top and then change the mode to soft light. This makes uh, the whole composition a bit lighter, but you will get a more textured look and then one other trick is to make the filter uh, to use a filter called um, high pass so now we only have the texture of this paper sheet and it's on top of our uh, reflection so it looks more like paper but this is only an additional gimmick you don't need to do this Maybe change the opacity a bit and here we go. Now the next important step is to go to window and timeline and check your timeline. Create video timeline, not create video animation if you don't see this one. Simply uh, click on the small arrow and then you can choose create video timeline and now you already can see that our background layer and the text animation, uh, the text file is shorter than our animation since we want to make a clip which is like 50 seconds long which is perfect for Instagram stories. Also always make sure that your animation starts at zero, not somewhere in the middle. And here we go. Let's check the animation. It will always take a bit. Here we go. So the last step is to export the video. Go to File, Export and then Render Video. And make sure your size is set to Document Size. Choose your folder and then simply render the video. This will take a bit, as I said before, because Photoshop is not really an animated kind of program or animation program, so uh, keep this in mind. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you enjoyed the small tutorial and I would love to see your creations. If you want to show me some of your animated fonts or reflective fonts, you can always um, uh, tag me on Instagram if you like to and yeah that's it I hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions left please write it into the comments bye